Usually when you're cooking a gorgeous fillet of beef, just like this one, you would sear it off in a pan, roast it in the oven. But I want to show you a very different technique. Instead of roasting it, I'm going to poach it in some red wine. It is absolutely delicious. It's not only going to stain the outside of it, so it's going to go a deep, rich red colour, but it's also going to flavour the beef. And I'm going to serve it with a very traditional French sauce, sauce gribiche. So to start with, we need to pop the aromatics in to the pot. Now I'm lucky I've got a nice oval pot that fits the fillet of beef just perfectly but you can use any and if you have to you can cut the fillet of beef in half or just twist it so it fits perfectly in the base of your chosen pot. So I've just got one carrot here and I'm just going to slice it into rounds. Now we're not going to eat these vegetables so it just doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to flavour our red wine stock. I've got this on a medium heat. I'll add a very small touch of olive oil and we'll start frying off some of the vegetables. So some onion cut into wedges. We're not getting colour, we're just getting some heat into them along with that one large carrot. To this I'll add some peppercorns and a few bay leaves. I've just got three fresh bay leaves. You could use some dry bay leaves and also some thyme. Now I like lots of thyme because I always associate fresh thyme, red wine with beef. They go so well together, so in it goes. Okay, now we can add our wine. Now you want a wine that has some good, strong flavours. I suggest a Cabernet Sauvignon or a Shiraz. And what we're doing here is just bringing that up to the boil and we want to reduce it by a third. You don't want to be adding your stock straight away and then your fillet of beef. You want to bring this up to the boil and you can see it's already starting to boil, but just let that boil for a few minutes so it can reduce by one third. We just want the flavour of the wine. We don't want the alcohol in it. We want that gorgeous gorgeous perfume flavour. So once that's reduced by one third, then we can add our beef. Right, this is reduced nicely. It smells fantastic. So in with the stock. I'm using beef stock and I've just warmed it up slightly just to speed up the whole process. So in that goes. Essentially, you need enough stock so the whole fillet of beef is submerged. So the fillet of beef, I've brought it out of the fridge. You want it to be at room temperature so it cooks accurately and evenly. So in it goes and it's been tied to and we'll just cover that in the stock the lid can go on and then just turn the heat down to medium. You really don't want this to boil. It needs to poach gently in that gorgeous liquid. So this is about a 1.2 kilogram fillet of beef. So it's going to take about 20 to 25 minutes for it to be medium rare. It depends on how you like it cooked. If you want it a little more, just leave it in a little longer. Now, while that's cooking, we can get on to this delicious sauce. This sauce has got a punch to it. Lots of mustard, vinegar, shallots in it. So I'll start with some Dijon mustard, a generous spoonful, along with some red wine vinegar. We'll mix that together. Always mix the vinegar and the mustard together before you start adding any of the oil. This is just going to help it emulsify much better. Some good quality extra virgin olive oil and we'll drizzle that in and I like to use a whisk. So pour and use the whisk at the same time and you'll see you get this gorgeous glossy emulsification. To flavour this, some baby capers. You can chop them up if you like. I'm going to leave them whole because they're so small. About a tablespoon out of the brine, whisk them in along with one French shallot. I like to use a French shallot because it's mild in flavour. And I've got some cornichons. So these are just like little baby gherkins. They're so cute and so sweet. So just line them up and we're just going to cut them into rounds, really thin rounds. I kind of want it to be a bit of a robust, chunky sauce to go with our beef. And the best thing about this recipe is you could serve this beef cold or room temperature like I'm going to be doing. So stir that through. Some egg. So the egg is going to thicken this up and again give it a really rich flavour. Hard boiled egg. I'm going to cut it into quarters and then what I like to do is run my knife through it a few times until we've got almost like an egg crumb. After I've mixed this in, salt and pepper and classic French herbs, I'll also chop into this some fresh parsley and tarragon. Fillet of 
leaf has come out of the red wine stock. It smells so good. And I've just allowed it to cool. Now, I let that cool for a good 20 minutes because I want to serve it at room temperature. If you want to serve it as a hot dish, then just rest it for the 10 minutes. Now, this stock, don't get rid of it. Just cool it down, freeze it, and it makes fantastic boeuf bourguignon or any red wine stew. There's so much flavour in that. Now to plate this up, we'll take our gorgeous fillet of beef. We want to get rid of that string so you can use a knife or to speed it up, grab some kitchen scissors and we'll just cut straight down the centre. Pull that away. No one likes string in their food. So pull that off and then with a very sharp knife we're going to cut this into thick style medallions and have a look how perfectly cooked that is. See that? It's exactly what I'm after. Not overcooked. There's nothing worse than overcooked fillet of beef. It's so tender, it's so lean that by overcooking it, it's just going to make it tough. This, you can see that knife is just sliding through the meat because it is cooked perfectly. I'm going to place this on a black plate just so it pops. And we're just going to pop it around. And don't forget our sauce gribiche that has the eggs in it, the herbs, the French shallots, everything you want and more. And we're just going to spread that over the top. A very classic way of serving fillet of beef in France. And this is really nice to do when you're feeding quite a lot of people because you can do the meat ahead of time, do the sauce ahead of time, and then just pop it together right at the end. Now, to finally garnish this, I have some extra herbs. So just a little parsley over the top. Just don't chop it. Pick it over like this, looks much better. And look at this tarragon, it's already started to flower, so we can add a few of those flowers and some of the leaves. I just love the aniseed flavour of tarragon, so I'm quite heavy handed with it. A touch of pepper, coarsely ground, and that is elegant fillet of beef that's been poached in red wine. Very easy to do and the results are outstanding. Serve this with some simple steamed potatoes like kipfler potatoes, anything waxy is really good, and a green salad and you've got yourself something very special right there.